a study done in 1998 found that lavender oil, amongst other essential oils, improved hair growth in 44% of participants. So in this video today, we're going to be looking at lavender oil, we're going to be looking at what it is and whether or not it can be an effective thing to add into your hair care routine. So guys, before we get into the video on lavender oil, if you are worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is click the link in the description, upload a hair selfie, answer a few short questions about yourself, and our hair guard specialist will give you analysis of your hair. So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is we're gonna look at whether or not lavender oil works for hair growth. So we're first gonna look at what lavender oil is, we're gonna see whether or not you should be using it for your hair, then we're gonna talk about how to use it, we're gonna see whether or not it really works. We're gonna look at some of the costs and availability. We'll look at some of the side effects before coming up with a short conclusion. One of the essential oils, lavender essential oil, is obtained by getting the oils out of various flower spikes found in the lavender plant. There are two distinct forms of this oil. They are lavender flower oil, uh, which is a clear oil that is insoluble in water, and lavender spike oil, a distilled form of the plant called lavandula latifolia. Not a pure compound, lavender oil is a naturally occurring mixture of what are called phytochemicals. These chemicals are linalool and linalil acetate. There is a type of lavender oil called cashmere lavender, which is actually made at the bottom of the Himalayas. Now, what is lavender oil? Lavender oil is a rather hardy plant and can withstand many climates. This allows it to be grown in many regions of the earth. The world's leading producer of actual lavender oil is Bulgaria. In Latin, the lavender plant is actually called lavare, which literally translates to wash. They called it this because of the plant's clean smell. Lavender oil is extracted from the blossoms of the lavender plant. It is used for many cosmetic purposes. It can be found in various colognes and aromatherapies along with shampoos and conditioners. The oil is often combined with other things to provide the most benefit from it. It is used in combination with things such as cedarwood oil, geranium oil, pine oil, and even nutmeg. Lavender essential oil has many uses. It is therapeutic, so it can be used in many soothing fragrances and body oils as well as medicines. It can be used to help cure insomnia, which will improve the quality of a person's sleep. The added benefit of sleep and soothing relaxation will also lower stress levels, anxiety, and depression. Lavender's, lavender's ability to cure these things will in turn improve hair growth because they are leading causes of hair loss. So how can you use lavender oil for your hair? There is no need to purchase crazy chemical laden hair loss solutions when the earth is providing the perfect products naturally. The essential oils all contain exceptional nutrients for the benefits of your hair and skin. Lavender essential oil is one of the essential nutrients and is one of the most important. It is a great oil for generating hair growth and making hair healthy and full. It can be a solution to many people's thinning hair problems. Even people with diseases such as alopecia can notice a gain of hair when using the oil. It is often added to various shampoos and conditioners by the companies to improve the product. Lavender essential oil can be beneficial to hair in a ton of different ways. It is good for having everything from growing new hair to cleaning the hair you already have. And it is even good for getting rid of nasty lice and nits. Hereditary baldness can be frustrating and frustration leads to even more hair falling out. And lavender oil is a way to curb your frustration and start enjoying your hair growth. It is as simple as massaging the oil into your scalp and this should be done either prior to or during the act of showering. It is not advised to leave the oil in without washing it out. When done on a regular basis, this leads to noticeable improvements on hair growth. Massaging the lavender oil into your scalp will promote blood circulation which will then help hair to grow and keep the follicles working properly. It's also a rather powerful antiseptic. This means it has great cleaning properties and this is why it's so good for riddling your hair of lice. When used on the scalp it will treat dry skin, dandruff, lice, lice eggs and nits. Its disinfectant qualities also help to defend your scalp against various fungi, viruses and other microbes. The oil will prevent your scalp from itching and is a safe, natural alternative to using powerful, potentially harmful chemicals on your head. So now we're gonna look at how to use lavender oil. There are several very effective ways to use your lavender essential oil. 
The best way to get the most out of your oil is by combining it with certain other essential oils. These all work together in slightly different ways to maximize your hair growing potential. There are different combinations that can be used for different functions and solutions to problems. First and foremost is hair growth. The oils that you can combine to grow hair are lavender, rosemary, basil and jojoba oils. This concoction should be stored in a dark glass bottle to ensure light waves are not able to destroy nutrients in the oils. They should be mixed as 10 drops of both lavender and rosemary oil and 5 drops of basil. These should then be mixed into 4 ounces of jojoba oil. Shake the bottle thoroughly before applying. Another mixture which includes lavender essential oil is used to cure dry scalps. This one requires lavender oil, rosemary oil and some oatmeal. Begin by soaking a quarter cup of oatmeal in water for 20 minutes. Then mix together 5 drops of rosemary oil with 7 drops of lavender. Make sure these are well mixed, then stir them into the oatmeal. This should create a kind of paste. Then massage this into your scalp and let it sit for one hour. After the hour has passed, wash it all out using warm but not hot water. Hot water could irritate the scalp. Using lavender essential oil regularly will provide noticeable benefits within approximately three weeks to a month. The results are not instantaneous but require only a limited amount of effort. Daily use is suggested until the individual achieves their desired effect. At this point you can begin doing periodic uses just to maintain rather than overdo. One of the easiest ways to make use of it is to add a few drops to your shampoo. You're probably wondering, does lavender oil really, really work? So, very few studies have been done on the use of lavender oil for hair growth. However, one study was conducted in 1998 and it tested the effects of an essential oil blend and its benefit to hair growth. The study consisted of 84 subjects with alopecia areata, a hair loss condition that results in patchy bald spots on the scalp. The participants were split into two groups, with the first group applying the essential oil blend daily and the second group just applying the carrier oils, which was a placebo. The essential oils used in the trials were thyme, rosemary, lavender and cedar wood blended in a base of jojoba and grapeseed carrier oil. And the study was carried out over seven months and the participants were examined at zero, three and seven months. At the end of the study, 44% of patients in the treatment group saw significant improvement in hair growth compared to only 15% of the 41 patients in the placebo group. Does this mean lavender oil works to promote hair growth? Not necessarily. While lavender oil was included in the essential oils blend, it wasn't the only ingredient present. In fact, many other oils included have their own studies to show its positive effect on hair growth. This means that further testing needs to be carried out on lavender oil alone to really determine the role it plays, if any, in hair regrowth. So now let's have a look at some of the costs and availability of lavender oil. Lavender oil can be purchased in many major retail stores along with practically anywhere else that cosmetic supplies are sold. It can also be found online at a myriad of health and supplement websites. It's relatively cheap and can be afforded by almost anyone. Prices range from $4 to as much as $25 and lower priced oils are typically used for scents, candle making and other aromatherapies. When purchasing an oil for use, you should look for a bottle that says 100% pure therapeutic grade oil. This means that they have been put through strict distillation and tests. They are made using no solvents. Now let's have a look at some of the side effects that may be possible. The use of lavender oil for adults is typically considered to be safe for all. Lavender oil should be diluted and not used in its pure, most powerful form. It is possible that using lavender oil will irritate a person's skin. This is especially true when the oil is not properly diluted. Now, lavender oil should only be used on the external surface of your skin. When using it in this way, a person should avoid operating vehicles and other heavy machinery as they can very easily become drowsy. An individual should not begin using lavender oil without first speaking with their doctor about the possible side effects. Now, hair loss is an embarrassing but avoidable situation. It is important to educate yourself on as many of the potential solutions as possible. Rather than trying a bunch of different products that are riddled with harmful chemicals, you should consider trying all natural organic products. Essential oils such as lavender oil can be an invaluable tool to help regrow your hair. It can also be used to treat dandruff and get rid of any unwanted lice or fungi. There are a ton of reasons why your hair might be falling out but only a handful of real solutions to the issue. When used properly and consistently, lavender oil is proven to provide the hair growth necessary 
for reuniting you with your confidence. And guys, just to finish up, it's important to mention that whilst lavender oil is potentially beneficial for your hair, it's not going to be the solution. Getting your hair back is about taking a multi-pronged approach where you're using various internal supplements, optimizing your diet, various topicals, um, micro needling, scalp massage, and so on. So it's going to take a multi-pronged approach that takes time. So there is no magic cure. Now, if you are worried about your hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free hair guard analysis. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.